last thing we want is someone getting injured on this project. This is obviously a high profile project and we want everyone walking away safe. That is huge for us, please. Um, really stay aware of what you're doing and, and stay focused. Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts on this project, but safety is our biggest concern. So please, everyone, uh, stay safe. There's no rush. And if you see any animals, they're not dogs, they're coyotes, run. <laughs> <laughs> We refer to the cutover as when we turn off the old system and turn on the new system. So we've been working diligently with the ministry and our partners with PBX, the engineers, to construct this plan. The Lionsgate Bridge is a, it's a monumental transportation link in the region and the reversible lane control system is a critical part of the operations that maximize the throughput on the bridge. Replacing a system like this, as complex as this, while keeping traffic operational is a very sophisticated undertaking and Paladin has done an excellent job. So the last year of work on site has brought us to this cutover weekend, which is a major milestone for the project. To be able to turn off the existing system, the only way to do that was to completely shut down the Lionsgate Bridge. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, seeing the lights go dark was pretty cool. You don't see that very often. So the whole process has been pretty interesting and pretty engaging. And, and I think it's a really, really unique experience being able to be on the bridge like this, uh, working on the project. And that's the first time we've done full lights out uh, since the last time we installed the lane control system, which was about 20 years ago. We're on day two of three. We're exceeding our requirements for each day, every night, and I'm very impressed. We are currently doing the reversible lane control system upgrade. Um, we've already completed all the camera installations. We are now running on the new system. Last night was a major milestone for us. Our guys uh, and uh, also the subs and everybody active professional the site was safe, we took all the safety measures. Uh, it's not an easy project, we were fighting uh, traffic, we were fighting uh, weather. Communication with Modi was great. There were meetings every week, they were answering their phones whenever we needed. That was one of the reasons we are successful. We're on the third day of testing uh, of the entire bridge. Cabinets have been tested, everything's good to go. We're at the, one of the major pieces of the project. We still have a few more weeks left. So along the project, aside from the, um, the lane control signal, uh, signal bridges, the LEDs in there, uh, we've also changed the brackets, the control systems, and we've also changed some of the cameras. We've upgraded the cameras that the ministry still uses uh, in order to ensure a safe passageway for, uh, for about roughly 60,000 passengers who actually use the bridge every day. Another thing that we did on the bridge uh, with help from Action Electric was replace the entire pedestrian lighting. And all of this had to be at night because uh, we had to be on the bridge and the only time we can actually get a chance to actually do work on this bridge without it, uh, in a safe manner and not get into the way of the traffic uh, is during night. So really uh, kudos to all the team who worked nights for the past few months. They, they, they put their heart and soul into this project and it's paying off and it's, it's, it's nice to see you know, the, the, the final product and the, and the smiles on everyone's faces. We're ready to, we're ready to call this one quits. So um, yeah, very impressed with the Paladin team. On a regional level, the refresh of this technical asset is extremely important. So the Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure, this is a pivotal project for them. This basically refreshes the asset life cycle for another 25 years and puts them in a much more resilient, much more reliable uh, situation and posture for this really important transportation aspect. It's been very complex 
it's, it's not an easy project to do. Both the contractor, Paladin Technologies, and, and our designers, PBX Engineering, have done a great job in ensuring that we, we complete the project and, and make it safe for the traveling public of the province for, for years to come.